Let's take a more detailed look at the locations we'll be able to visit on the beach of Coral Island and what we can expect from those places based on what we know so far. Hello there! Hi Mr. Cobwobbles, this is Alfred and welcome to a new Coral Island video. In one of my previous Coral Island videos, we discussed Starlet Town, the main area of the game in detail. You can check that right over there. And there's an entire playlist of Coral Island videos you can check out over there too. And of course, there's a lot more where that came from because there are more areas on Coral Island that we can take a look at. Today, we'll be going to the beach area of Coral Island. The beach is described as a place rich in sparkly white sands with an abundance of seashells and even some seasonal fruits. There's a pier, a few buildings, which we will go into more in this video, and it's also home to the gateway of the ocean exploration mechanics in this game, the diving spot. From what we know, you'll be able to go to the diving spot to travel to different diving areas around the entire island and travel deeper and deeper every time. Don't forget to clean up those seabeds, try to save the reefs, and who knows, you could meet some merfolk along the way. A lot more is not quite known yet about this part of the game, but we'll definitely get more info on it as development continues. Now, as far as buildings go on the beach area of Coral Island, I'd like to talk first about what the locals call the abandoned villa. We don't have any pictures of this one yet, I think, but it's a curious and ominous and scary name for a building. The villa was owned by former residents of Coral Island, and most of the time it sits there empty. No one knows why the family who lived there left abruptly all those years ago, and only their daughter Nina often visits the villa in the summers. So maybe we can find out what happened. Nina is one of the romanceable characters in the game who is great friends with Lily and the twins Alice and Suki who run the Coral Inn. So maybe... They also know some stuff about it. Who knows? Maybe I'll become like a Sherlock Holmes on Coral Island and figure everything out. That's my goal. That's my goal. Detective Cobble and Dr. Alfred. Let's go. <laughs> Speaking of the Coral Inn, the inn is located on the pier at the beach. This is where tourists will be able to stay, but also island natives can be seen relaxing primarily in the lobby. You can often see islanders and visitors reading slouched in big comfy chairs next to an open window, listening to the sounds of the waves. I actually hope that we can do this ourselves. Just sit in a big chair with an open window, listening to the ocean sounds, reading a little bit, would be the perfect like background noise for for writing or, 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 or just chilling out in general. That would be great. That would be great. Just sit there and enjoy the view and the sounds of the ocean to de-stress from our hectic farming lives. While we're talking about our hectic farming lives, we might occasionally get hungry and find ourselves at the beach. And that is where the beach shack comes in. I find the beach shack to be a quite cozy looking building with a rustic character, and I just love the vibe it gives off. The beach shack is open almost every single day and is run by Jim and Sonny. You'll be able to purchase fishing and diving equipment here, as well as some amazing seafood meals. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of seafood, but I'll definitely stop by for some gear and to see Sonny and his son Oliver. Also, quick intermission, if you like games like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing and soon Coral Island, I started a playthrough of a game called Spiritfarer on this channel and it combines elements of these types of games with a beautiful 2D art style. It's super cute and emotional. Maybe you'd like to check out the first episode. Who knows? Right, next up we have the floating boat, which is apparently the boat that Theo uses to go fishing. As we discussed in the Townies video, Jim gave Theo his boat to continue his fishing business. It's described as a vintage boat, not the shiniest, and somewhat fully functional, which kind of worries me, especially the somewhat in that sentence worries me a lot. Like, Theo, are you going to be okay on that boat? But hey, if it works, it works. I hope Theo will take us out on his boat someday. I think we've really entered the boats section of this video because the next area that you can explore, or rather the, the next building slash vehicle 
you can explore is the red boat. The red boat is what I think we see here in this snippet of footage. It's a boat that's no longer functional, docked on the pier next to Theo's boat. It does, however, look like the boat can be tweaked, and so maybe it'll be up to us to repair it or give it a different function. In any case, I'm looking forward to finding that out. And then finally, last but not least, we'll be able to take a look at Zara's boat. Her boat is also docked at the pier. She lives alone on her boat, and she can often be seen cooking or sitting around, relaxing when she's at home. Really, really excited to see her boat eventually. As right now, we also don't have any pictures or footage, but hopefully, those will come soon. And otherwise, we'll be able to take a look at it in the Alpha in July. Which buildings on the beach of Coral Island are you most excited to see and explore? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, clicking that bell. Feel free to watch another video. See you later and hoot hoot, mother forkers.